All right, we're still in the June Odd 8 exam. We're on to page 12. And these are two questions, 59 and 60, both based on this piece of wire. A 10 meter length of copper wire is at 20 degrees Celsius. The radius of the wire is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. That's about 3 millimeters, which would make a piece of wire 6 millimeters in diameter. And uh, this is a screwdriver. And this screwdriver is just about six millimeters in diameter, a little bit more than that. That's a big hunk of wire, 10 meters long. So what are the questions? Determine the cross-sectional area of the wire. Now cross-sectional area is a formula, but we have that in the geometry and trigonometry. For a circle, the area is pi r squared, in case you forgot. So the cross-sectional area would be pi r squared. And we know r to be 1 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. So the area, cross-sectional area, would be pi times r squared. Calculator time. And would you believe my calculator does not have a pi button? Mm, and I like pi so much. That's a statistics calculator. So I'm just going to multiply it by 3.14. We'll call that equal. And I've got a cross-sectional area of 3.14 times 10 to the negative. And i got to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. And that would be meters squared, because we had to square the meters. So we write our answer on our answer sheet somewhere. And here we go, 59. 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. Question 60. Calculate the resistance of the wire. Show all the work, including the equation, and substitution with units. Well, I know this wire is 10 meters in length, so the length is 10 meters. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, and that's kind of important. And the radius of the wire is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. And the cross-sectional area is equal to 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. And it's copper. So let's go find a formula for resistance. And the formula for resistance is, that's the Greek letter rho times length divided by cross-sectional area. Now rho is resistivity. So we write the formula, resistance is equal to rho times length over cross-sectional area. We got length, we got cross-sectional area. We gotta go find this rho thing. And here's a chart for resistance, resistivities resistivity resistivities at 20 degrees Celsius that's why they told us the temperature aluminum and there's copper and there's the units so it's uh, 1.72 1.72 times 10 to the negative 8 and I get my units uh, ohm meters ohms times meters all right now let's plug into the equation Resistance is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the negative 8 ohm meters times the length, which is 10 meters, divided by the cross-sectional area, which is 3.14 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared. I keep forgetting to write that. But it's important because meters squared cancels these out. I'm left with units of ohms. And uh, that's what I'm looking for in ohms. So I get my calculator out. Resistance is equal to. And I'm getting 0 0.0054 ohms. Or I can write it as point, uh, or 5.0 times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3. 3 ohms. 
And that's about it for like the wire. Big thick wire, it has hardly any resistance. As long as we got a little bit of time, here are uh, some ohm jokes. This is the very famous. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's clearly an ohm run. Get it? Ohm and it's running. Ohm run. Let's see, this would be. A mobile ohm, a little ohm with wheels, a mobile ohm, get it? Mobile ohm. This is my favorite one. Let's see, we'll start over here. The phantom of the opera, get it? Phantom of the opera. I got lots of these. And now for question 61, the diagram on your answer booklet, and I'm just going to go to that diagram as I read this, represents a transverse wave moving up and down in a uniform rope with point A labeled as shown. On the diagram in your answer booklet, mark an X at the point where the wave that is 180 degrees out of phase with point A. All right, so let's do this. If that was 0, this would be 90, and that would be 180, 270, 360. This is 0, so that means 90 moves over to here, and 180 moves right about to here. 180 degrees out of phase, this would be 270, and this would be 360. So here's where we want to put our x at 180 degrees out of phase. And uh, that looks close enough.